Hey, what's up guys? Today's video, we have daily challenges, Madame Nazar's location, and the collector items. So we do have some random ones like belt buckle, distance driven on a train. Make sure you guys are driving the train, not just riding one. Good location that I've been finding is McFarland's Ranch. Seems every time I go to the fast travel, there's always a train that spawns there. We do have a lot of showdowns that we have to do today. We also have some collectibles found with the shovel, family heirlooms, and also lost jewelry. I'll do the collector challenges toward the end of the video. First, we're going to go ahead and bang out Madame Nazar's location. She is back in the Big Valley area, as she was a couple of days ago. It's not the ideal location if you have to travel there to get your maps and stuff, so I would say try to set your camp up if you can in Big Valley so you can fast travel there, go to Madame Nazar, you know, buy what you need, and then take off. So as far as white-tailed deer, you can find these pretty commonly on the eastern part of the map everywhere. Uh, some good spots would be Cumberland Forest, and also if you're going to Madden Nazar for any reason today, Big Valley is a great place to find them as well. So I know a lot of people don't have the metal detector, so these first locations that I'm going to pinpoint on the map are going to be spots that you can just find with a shovel. You can find anything from like jewelry, family heirlooms, arrowheads, and that type of stuff. But uh, here are some locations across the map. Keep in mind, some of these locations do rotate every day. You might go there one day and it might be a certain item. The next day it might be a different or it might not be there at all. So here are locations for people that don't have the metal detector, although I advise you getting one if you can afford it. So these next locations are going to be locations where you can find family heirlooms. Sometimes these will require metal detectors. Sometimes they won't. Um... But here are some locations over here where you can find them over in Blackwater, some good spots. And there's also a few in the Blue Water Marsh slash Bayou area. But most likely, you're not going to need a metal detector for these. I'm just saying, you know, just in case. But you should be able to find these. Like that specific one, it's on the back uh, little deck of a house in Blackwater. And then there's some other locations that you can find them as well over in New Austin. And that will take care of that. Last thing we're going to talk about is going to be jewelry. Now for the jewelry, more times than not, you are going to need a metal detector to end up finding these. And uh, some of these are going to be locations like this one right here is that pearl necklace, the Bell Pearl or Pelly Pearl necklace. I think Tom Lincoln's mentioned this one in a comment on a video the other day. And these are going to be ones that you need to find most likely with a metal detector. Here are some locations. Keep in mind they do shift around you know every day but um a couple of these locations are items or locations where you can find items for that collection the sacred collection that we have to find this week so between the shovels metal detectors you know there's three different spots where you can find your collector items deer big valley is a great area and then we also have madame Mazar's location when i put these collector challenges in man it delays the upload of this video because i have so many clips to go through and it takes a lot of time to pinpoint them on the map so even though it's late, I hope the video helps. Appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time.